my God, it has been just a crazy day. But yes, the rumors are true, and now it is fact that you can jailbreak on iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1, both with the Uncovered jailbreak as well as Electra. Now, they both pretty much do the same thing. It's honestly whatever you decide. It's up to you. Whatever is your flavor, whichever one you like better, you can use both to achieve the exact same thing. Now, in this quick video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install both of these jailbreak utilities, and we're going to run through the jailbreak process on one of them. So you guys can see exactly what it is like on iOS 11.4.1. <laughs> Some major news happened today. Like I said, both of these jailbreak utilities were released just a few days after. They both are comprised of Brandon Azad's brand new exploit as well as Tim Star's brand new exploit as well. So even users still on iOS 11.3.1 are gonna benefit from this update. Re-jailbreaking or jailbreaking for the very first time is going to be much more stable and it's going to have a lot higher success rate. So let me just pull up Coolstar's tweet. This was released earlier today, Electra 1.2 was released. Now this has since been updated to 1.2.2 and is the reason why I'm reporting on this is now both the Electra Jailbreak Utility as well as the Uncovered Jailbreak Utility have both received a few updates as the day went on to squash some of the readily apparent bugs um, with certain devices. But, but just as some background information, this one utility now can be used to jailbreak iOS 11 all the way up to 11.4.1. Now for 11 to 11.1.2, that's still going going to use Ian Beer's async wake exploit. And I'm guessing that's for all devices on 11 to 11.1.2, but for A9 devices and above on 11.1.2 to 11.1.4. So I think it's the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10. They're now going to use a voucher swap, which is Brandon Azad's brand new exploit that he just released if they're on iOS 11.2 to 11.4.1. And for A7 and A8 devices being the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, they're going to use Tim Starr's new exploit called Threadmill. Along with Electra, Uncover also receives a major update with 11.4.1 support. Now this is just in beta stages and there's already been a couple updates like I said for it today, but both of these jailbreak utilities now should work on the majority of devices and should work on the very first if not second try. So that was just a bit of background information of what was released and what is going on. Well, let's get into the meat of this video and show you guys exactly how to jailbreak directly on your devices. Now, both of these utilities can be installed either via Tweakbox or Ignition. Now, I've recently been preferring Ignition over Tweakbox, but for whatever reason, it's not loading on my iPhone 5S right here. So I use Tweakbox to get the latest Electra build. So if I go into Tweakbox here, give it a second to load. This is a slow device, apologies for that, but this is my only device right now on iOS 11. Then if I scroll down to Tweakbox apps, and then we can scroll down to Electra version 1.2.2. It's fully updated, guys. You can fully install the latest version of Electra on device. So no need to sideload this or uncovers application either. Now, like I said, Ignition should work on the majority of devices if you guys have it actually installed. But the cool thing about Ignition is you can actually use it directly from your web browser as well. You can just click Use Now, and then it uh, will just take a second to load. You can click this second little icon right here, and then you can scroll down now to Jailbreaks. And now, as you guys can see, we have multiple jailbreak utilities right here, and you just have to scroll down to the correct one. Uncover New Beta is what that stands for right there. And then right below that, we have Electra 1141 right there for the latest Electra build too. So that's how I got the latest version of the Uncovered Jailbreak on this device. Again, once both of these utilities are installed, um, you're going to have to go to Settings, scroll down here to General, and then scroll down to Profiles and Device Management. And they're both going to be Enterprise Certificates, and then you just have to trust these certificates right here. Now, I've already trusted the Uncover certificate, but in any sense, that's exactly all you need to do. It's super quick, it's super simple to get these utilities on your device. Now again, just like the previous jailbreaks, you will have to run this utility every single time you restart your device. Let's go ahead and get into the jailbreak utility, and there we have it, 3.0.0 .0 .0 Beta 4.
And again, as of later this evening, Beta 4 is the latest beta build as of recording this video. So it should be able to jailbreak the iPhone 5S perfectly fine. Same with the latest version of Electra. Well, that's what Uncover looks like, and this is what Electra looks like. For those who are curious, again, iOS 11 to 11.4.1 support. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use Uncover. Now, both jailbreak utilities are gonna do the job just fine. I've just recently got to use Uncover and prefer that over Electra. It's just my personal preference. Nothing against Coolstar or anything like that that. Um, honestly, both jailbreak developers are absolutely incredible and do great work within the jailbreaking community. And huge shout out to Brandon Azad and Tim Starr as well on these amazing new exploits. Now, this is the very first time jailbreaking this device and it's going off flawlessly. And now we may have to run this utility twice. I'm not quite sure. I haven't jailbroken an iPhone 5S in a long time. But look at that, guys. Already the 36 out of 38 on the very first try of running this jailbreak utility. Again, that's kind of why I waited so long to do this video is there were so many people having problems with both utilities, actually. And that's why both developers pushed some major updates to their utilities today to make sure all devices are going to work on the latest versions of iOS 11 being 11.4 and 11.4.1. Anyway, guys, it looks like it's going to work perfectly fine. The device is restarting now. All right, so finally, kind of forgot what I was doing, making dinner at the same time. But anyway, back to the video. Now that we're back on the home screen here, it looks like Cydia has appeared on the home screen. Now, if I go into Uncover, it says Re-Jailbreak, which is going to enable our jailbreak now that it actually has jailbroken our iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and click Re-Jailbreak now, and it's going to enable our jailbreak so we can go into Cydia and get on our way to installing tweaks on iOS 11. 11.4 and 11.4.1. It is that simple, guys. Absolutely no computer required, and it's just a couple of minutes to get your iPhone jailbroken. And there is the Respring logo, guys. Can you believe it? On the very first freaking try, Uncover works right out of the box. I cannot believe this. God, it's been so long since an awesome jailbreak utility has been out, and this is just absolutely fantastic. Um, I've yet to try the Electra jailbreak, but maybe we can go ahead and uh, try that out in a separate video as well. But uh, Uncover seems to be working perfectly fine. I can confirm that. So <laughs> this is just taking forever on an iPhone 5S. But here we are, guys. The moment of truth. Let's go ahead and launch up Cydia. And my brightness is really bright. But there we have it, guys. Cydia is up and running. So that is pretty much this entire video. I don't think there's gonna, there might be a couple changes. I'll go ahead and click refresh, but uh, maybe not at the same time. We'll go ahead and see if there are any changes. Uh, you might wanna check on Reddit or just look around and see what other people are doing. Sometimes initial changes on a brand new jailbreak utility can be kind of dicey, um, but it doesn't even look like there's any changes. We'll know in just two seconds, a minor change. That's probably perfectly fine to upgrade. Let's go ahead and try it in this video so I can confirm with you guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire video, guys. That is how to jailbreak your iPhones all the way from the iPhone 5S to the iPhone 10 running iOS 11 all the way up to 11.4.1, the public build. Anyway, guys, it looks like that's working perfectly fine. Um, thank you for bearing with me on my iPhone 5S, but we got through it, and uh, that is how to jailbreak no computer and all that stuff. Anyway, guys, if you like today's video, definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay updated. Now that this is out, there are great things in the works for iOS 12 and the iOS 12 jailbreak scene. Most of the pieces are now here. The big key to the puzzle being this exploit has been released. Now it's on to the post-exploitation processes for iOS 12. But I also saw earlier today that a nonce setter for iOS 12 has been released, kind of a beta stage one, so I'm excited to move on and check that out. And I should have a video ready for you guys tomorrow discussing blobs and how to upgrade and downgrade with them with this new nonce setter. Anyway, guys, that is how to jailbreak. Definitely give this video a huge thumbs up, like I said, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest iOS jailbreak updates. Again, great things in the work for iOS 12. It's only a matter of time now before an iOS 12 jailbreak is released to the public. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. Thank <laughs> you.